In recent time, the exodus of healthcare professionals, especially nurses, has been worrisome as the country experienced drastic migration of nurses with a record of over 8,000 nurses in less than two years. The Lagos State School of Nursing Global Alumni Association, an association of nurses that attended the Den School of Nursing Awolowo Road Ikoi and now College of Nursing Complex Igondo, reunited in the city of Lagos to discuss some salient issues about the progress of nursing profession and further see how the brain drain will be advantageous as brain gain. To just talk about the exodus of uh, nurses, I think will be on the calling the real issue. I think the bigger issue is the fact that uh, we, we need and, and leaders to really uh, step up the plate and understand that you know um and nigeria nigeria has all it takes to to be to be better one of the things i said in my opinion that brought us to where we are today is this thing that we call giants of africa tallest amongst midgets giants of africa so what africa is begging to grow you are seeing you are celebrating the fact that you are giants of africa i hope we've learned our lessons i hope we can benchmark ourselves rightly excuse me so that with the sense that in the future uh, we can actually have a nigeria that we are all proud of syndrome as we call it is really affecting the healthcare system massively the brain drain comes as a result of our people living because there is nothing to live on majority of us are phd holders when you finish the what said you recognize it and this idea of saying these are the set of people should not be we should healthcare system is a teamwork that involves everybody to be on. Recently, on the 27th of July, they went to Abuja over the leadership in the system. And so we are looking at to have a formidable one that can make us to work together as a team, more than what we are doing before. We definitely appreciate our nurses. Our nurses spend more time uh, with patients than probably any other healthcare professional. So definitely we appreciate all, all the work they're putting in. Like I said, we're looking at ways to keep them here. Uh, but the forces that are, are, are tempting them to go uh, they're very strong forces and then we're also looking at ways to tempt the ones that have gone who are probably not too happy there or who feel they've made enough money there to come back and and give back to this place and we're trying to see how we can accommodate them and make them make it also beneficial for them to to have made the decision uh, to come back i trained here and i practiced for a few years in nigeria before i relocated to the united states with my family i currently practice in the united states however i have been doing a lot of collaboration in Nigeria in the last 10 years. And it is really, you know, disheartening that the welfare of nurses is not priority. So the government really needs to come on. They need to really, really step up. If you want nurses to stay, we need to improve their welfare. We need to improve the environment of care, where they practice. They need to feel safe. And not only for the government, for all employers of nurses. And well, you know, there's a lot of burnout. It's, uh... It creates a lot of what we call workload, you know, um, a lot of occupational stress on those who are, who are there. And that also, you know, exacerbates attrition of those people who are there because the workload will be there. There are very few number of staff that are there. The students are not there. They are not encouraged. They are really paid. They are overworked. They are overburdened. And the stress is so much. And they are also looking for opportunity to also travel. So the point, therefore, is that Everything should be done by the current government to ensure that they can retain, motivate, you know, those individuals that are there and ensure that the environment is made conducive. Uh, we, we have uh, an organization called the Pharma, which uh, deals with uh, hospitals and healthcare institutions generally. And they are working very hard in conjunction with NME and all the other nursing and the nursing associations and all the other professional associations to try and ensure that we minimize quackery completely uh, in the state. For me, alumni association are not just about jamboree, but a credible platform to see how to contribute to the growth of the institution that have given one so much. It is also a platform to support each other and to ensure that every member of the alumni association is positively imparted. The good thing about today's ceremony is that it's perfectly aligned with the ideas objective of this alumni association. Therefore, it is commendable that you have put this event together to appreciate your teachers, mentors, and instructors of the golden seed sold in you which are now which are now generating good offers
for the benefit of not just the alumni, but also the general public. It is expected that you will build on this to identify major projects you can execute to support your alma mater, therefore contributing your value quota to the development of the nursing training and practice in our state. I also firmly believe that nurses have the obligation to continue to upload the ethics of the professions and strictly adhere to the best practice in the overall interest of the patient. The event occurred in the city of Lagos at Alausa Ikeja, which features celebration of some older retired nurses, merriments, and awards to some icons.